Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. The Bible says, But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Very profound scripture. That means in the dealings of God with men, oftentimes God will deploy strategies that do not make sense to the natural mind. The Bible is saying here that one who is void of spiritual intelligence, one who is not yet alive spiritually, cannot understand the way God operates. Because you see, in the kingdom, God operates beyond the realm of logic. The realm of logic is a realm where everything has to be calculated. And everything has to fit reasoning but in the economy of God in the economy of heaven it does not work that way the Bible is full of many examples of God walking in such a way and a manner that would not have made sense to any intelligent person however the results that follow and nothing short of supernatural and extraordinary. The natural man understandeth not the things of the spirit. Second scripture, First Corinthians chapter one, we will read twenty-five and twenty-six. First Corinthians chapter one. The Bible says, "The foolishness of God." is wiser than men and the weakness of God if any is stronger than men the next verse for you see your calling brethren he says how that not many wise men after the flesh not many mighty men not many noble are called in fact let's add 27 Give us the next verse. For God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. That means when God deals with men, he would use strategies that do, does not make sense. For instance, how does praying in the spirit translate to supplying strength capacity and energy in the spirit how does dancing over situations and circumstances translate to victory in the spirit these are the ways of god they may not make sense to the natural man how does giving parting away with your resources translate to increase and abundance that the ways of God, the weakness, the foolishness of God, if any, are wiser than the wisdom of men. It's important that we appreciate this. In 1 Corinthians, I believe, chapter 2 and verse 7, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 7, the Bible tells us that we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, it says, even the hidden wisdom which God had ordained before the world unto our glory. There is a kind of wisdom that has been preordained for the glory of the saints. I think it was in Luke chapter 1 and verse 17. The Bible calls it the wisdom of the just. That there is something called the wisdom that is at work in the life of they that have been justified by faith. So I'm starting tonight by helping us understand that the ways of God are not the ways of men. The strategies of the Spirit 
are not like human strategies they defy the law of logic however they contain within them the very power of God to translate the saints to a realm of grace and a realm of glory I wrote down something here and I want you to listen very carefully the basis I wrote here for the believers victory in this kingdom is the finished work of Christ the basis for the, the finished work of Christ however the administration of this victory the reality of it being made manifest in your life depends on your accessing the wisdom of the spirit per time and per season please pay attention that it is true that in Christ victory has been wrought for the saints in Christ there are no limits to the believers potential in Christ we have been called to a life of glory and grace and excellence and power that the believers life should be an ever increasing effulgence of grace on one hand these realities have been established in Christ but that they are manifest on what Christ has done it depends on your ability to access wisdom per time so the saints live defeated lives in ministry in career in business and in every other endeavor not because the victory that should be theirs has not been there in Christ but they have not learned the technology in the spirit to buy into the wisdom of the spirit and appropriate experientially that victory that has been finished in Christ so you hear many people say for instance I will never be defeated because the Bible says now thanks be to God which causes us always to triumph but you look at their lives and you see that they are defeated there are many who quote the scripture we have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every kindred blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us and so by it they say in the name of Jesus I can never be under a curse that is a reality from God's standpoint but you look at their lives and you see that they are still in the experience of bondage it was in Hebrews chapter 2 when Paul was speaking he made reference to what the psalmist said in Psalm 8 he said what is man that thou art mindful of not the son of man that thou visitest him he says you have made him a little lower than Elohim crowned him with glory and honor he said you have set him above the works of your hands and that in doing so you left nothing you put all things under his feet and you did not leave anything that was not under his feet the rendition in Hebrews chapter 2 says but now we do not yet see all things in experience in as much as you have been called to a life of grace and power when i look at your life i do not yet see the manifestation of that reality and my assignment tonight is to show you the missing link and then to connect you with one spiritual mystery and then we wrap up for tonight all things have been finished in christ it's a reality that has nothing to do with your experience it's a reality that has nothing to do with your feelings if you live a defeated christian life for the rest of your life it does not change the fact that jesus died resurrected has defeated sin satan hell and the grave it is a fact if you live in sickness all the days of your life it will not change the fact that by his stripes we are healed if you live in poverty and lack it does not change the fact that we know the grace of our lord jesus christ that though he was rich yet for your sake he became poor that you through his poverty might become rich that it is he that gives you the power to get wealth if you live a weak and a mediocre life it does not change the fact that you have been given a heritage to be exalted above all the nations of the earth and that this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you if you live a weak christian life 
it does not change the fact that you have been given access to power by the spirit according to Micah chapter 3 and verse 8 it says surely I am full of power by the spirit whether that becomes a reality in your life or not does not change the fact that this is true from the standpoint of God are we following tonight so we have believers who keep quoting scripture correctly so but their lives are not a capture and a representation of that reality when Jesus was teaching to pray he said let it be done in the earth as it is in the heavens that means to replicate the realities that are in the heavens to be made manifest in the life of the believer here and now and the Bible says the reason why many believers are not able to come into the experience of the spirit life is that the ways of God defy logic we live in a world and we live in a civilization where you have to understand how one plus one becomes two to believe and agree with it and unfortunately the ways of the spirit does not work like that that if a man is to walk with God and live the spirit life he must be able to subscribe to a higher pathway that defies logic in many instances the Christian experience does not take away intelligence but that it tells you that in addition to intelligence there is a realm higher than it for instance you shall not see wind you shall not see rain yet your valley shall be filled with water that is not a statement that makes any sense to an intelligent person for instance by this time tomorrow that the whole land of Samaria would have abundance beyond imagination for instance Moses stretch forth your rod and part the Red Sea heather and teether that God's people would walk on dry ground the ways of God is someone following now many believers are unable to come into the experience of the kingdom and the spirit life because the ways of God defy in many regards logic I wrote something here and I want you to listen every dimension of result or possibility in the kingdom has a divine strategy connected to it please listen every dimension of possibility and result in the kingdom that you will experience from now on and for all the days of your life there is a divine strategy there is a wisdom component by the spirit that is connected to it watch this can I use you my dear come and any gentleman just come watch this now here is a young lady standing and here is a gentleman standing for all of these people what the Bible says about them as far as God's commitment to them remains a fact God desires to prosper this wonderful lady God desires to prosper this gentleman are we together now both of them can believe that it is the will of God to prosper them but do you know they are walking in the experience of it the strategy that will be given to this gentleman to step into that blessing is not the same strategy that will be given to this young lady are we together yeah the goal is that all of them come into the experience of what has been finished in Christ but that for this man to step into that experience as an individual there is a unique strategy built by the spirit and it is your assignment to know how to draw to your life the strategy connected to every level of triumph if I can help you understand this tonight I have given you a key that will set you on fire and cause you to be a sign and a wonder when you look at the lives of people and you see the extraordinary manifestations of the spirit I hope you know 
that the realm that they are functioning in is not just something that was uniquely carved out for them it is the heritage of all believers the difference is that through the spirit and the word they have downloaded the strategy allocated for their unique destiny hmm. are we together so for this gentleman the strategy God can give him is train yourself in your music ministry serve the nations with it rehearse every morning I will give you songs in the place of prayer this is God's strategy to him to bring him into the realm of influence in the kingdom and even prosperity for this my dear sister in as much as the Word of God says she should prosper she may use this gentleman's strategy and never see what God said because it is your assignment as a believer to receive the unique blueprint carved out for your destiny is someone listening now now you understand my song I receive I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up he is exalted I receive I manifest your power your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorify so Moses is standing with the nation of Israel thank you and he's standing in front of the Red Sea God had already spoken to him that he was going to take the people from Egypt the land of bondage to a land that was flowing with milk and honey but now he's standing in front of the Red Sea it did not change what God said but he needed to go back to God what is the strategy to deal with this Red Sea because when you began to speak to me you didn't tell me I will face a Red Sea you only told me the end of my journey now that I have confronted a Red Sea there must be an intelligence that was attached to that prophecy reveal the intelligence that will get me to the place of prophecy and the Lord said why do you stand crying before me tell the people that they go forward that strategy was only used once if you were listen if you got to the days of Jesus with only the memory of Moses' strategy and you were Peter and Jesus said come you will reject that instruction because you will say the only strategy I know is that the water can part but that is not the only way to go forward there is a strategy allocated for every prophecy are we together Jesus reveals a new strategy and he says if it be thou bid me come and he says come and he begins to walk on water now it's recorded but how many of you know that walking on water is not the only strategy too many miracles Jesus did the Bible says which were not recorded in this book but these were recorded that we might believe that he is the son of God and that in believing we will have life everlasting hear me believers the moment you find out God's prophetic blueprint for your life knowing the will of God is fundamental to destiny actualization but just remaining in the realm of the awareness of the will of God for you will not get you there you must learn the technology in the spirit that downloads the wisdom connected to every step of your destiny hallelujah praise the name of the Lord you must receive the unique strategy given to make his will come to pass in your life for instance in 2nd Kings 4 3 to 5 the woman met the prophet and began to cry my children are about to be taken away because my late husband left me in debt the prophet would have said go and prosper but he gave her a strategy by the spirit what do you have in your house she said nothing except a cruise of oil 
and he said all right go and get that cruise of oil get many vessels and then shut the door pour in that oil and it will not stop until it be filled go and sell it pay your debt and leave off the rest ladies and gentlemen you try to apply that strategy it will not work for you because it was not allocated for your unique destiny are we together now knowing the will of god is not enough we must learn how to buy into the mind of the spirit to get unique wisdom strategies per moment that helps us to triumph if you're with me shout a loud amen, amen. another example is found in john chapter 9 and verse 6. the bible tells us that there was a man who was blind and jesus wanted to minister healing to that man can you imagine i hope you know that jesus healed many blind people in scripture and yet none of them was healed by the same strategy blind Bartimeo, he asked him a question what do you want to receive my sight and that was it but for this gentleman the bible says that jesus had to spit on clay is that in your bible he made you know spoot him out of it and then rubbed it on his eyes and said go to siloam and wash in another instance he laid his hands on the eyes of one and he said what do you see i see men like trees and he laid hands on him a second time my question is what informed the strategy that jesus used per patient this was the reason why his life was invincible even though he was the son of god he knew that knowing the will of god alone would not bring it to pass that he must be able to access per time and per season the wisdom of god in john chapter 2 when you read from verse 1 to 11 just write for reference the Bible talks about the wedding in Cana of Galilee. Are we Bible students? Then it says how that the wine was spent and there was nowhere to get wine. And Mary brought them to Jesus. Now how many of you know that God is mighty? And even in that occasion, as God incarnate, he was still mighty. But the knowledge of him being mighty did not provide wine. Mary said he is going to tell you something because this is how the kingdom operates there is a wisdom that is about to come out from him to bring his will to pass and when you get that wisdom do it whatsoever he tells you to do do it and jesus said all right now that you are ready to see the will of god come to manifest and the glory of god to be made manifest fill six pots with water and then when they did he said fetch it do not taste it do not verify you just keep going go and give the rulers and the Bible says as they went that miracle happened you see it now the reason why many believers only know the will of God never to see it manifest in their lives is that we are just conscious of receiving the will of God alone but we are not conscious of accessing by the spirit. are we together now we are not conscious of accessing by the spirit the unique wisdom strategy that has been given to bring that will to pass then we are ready to go to the scripture that ties to the theme of tonight it will make sense to you now as we prepare to pray joshua chapter 6 we are reading from verse 1 to 4 then we will jump somewhere along the line to verse 20 and then finally we will end at verse 27 hallelujah are we together let me hear you shout a loud amen. amen now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel the Bible says none went out and none came in are we still following read verse 2 if you can see it as loud as you can ready one to read and the lord said unto joshua uh-huh see i have given into thy hand jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of fellow now stop there 
God spoke to Joshua as if he did not know that there was a wall with a gate that was closed. Joshua, whether you walk in the reality of it or not, know this for a fact I have given you already. I have given you Jericho. I have given you the king. I have given you the men of fellow. It is now up to you. You know my will. If you live a defeated life and Jericho kills you, it does not change the fact that I gave you already. But the missing link now was receiving the strategy that will bring prophecy to pass. Verse 3. Thank you. Give us verse 3. Open your eyes and see by the Spirit. And ye shall compass the city. Are you seeing the strategy now? God never reveals his will alone. We are just impatient and we don't stay to get the strategy. The moment we get the will, we start running and inventing our own strategies. Hallelujah. It's one thing to buy a car that can run at 180 kilometers per hour. But you need to know the kind of gas that fuels it. If you buy a Mercedes Benz and because you cannot wait at the filling station to put the right fuel, to put the right engine oil, imagine that you pour water. It does not stop the fact that the car has the potential to deliver but you have ruined the potential because you got the correct car but you did not wait to get the specific fuel. Are we together? So he received the blueprint. I have given you Jericho. Like for a man of God, I have given you Abel Kuta. Like for someone, I have given you the nations. This is how God speaks. But the moment you shout Amen on one hand, don't start running yet. Stay back and say, Lord, you always give prophecy and strategy. Prophecy and strategy. God never gives prophecy alone. It is prophecy and strategy. If he has given you prophecy, the mission is not complete. Wait and tarry. Tarry in prayer. Tarry in fasting. You may look like you are delayed, but you are waiting. And men will say, you already know where you are going. Tell them I need to know how to get there. I can't assume I will get there by my strength. Is God helping someone? This is the reason why for the last five years you kept writing everything God said but your life has not gone forward. Because the only thing you wrote was what he said. You did not stay with him to tell you how. You assumed that because what he told you was what he told another man of God. He meant the strategy was the same. Are we together? Let's finish that scripture. Verse 4. Joshua chapter 6. Watch this. Let's do 3 and 4. Back to 3, my dear people. And ye shall compass the city, all ye men of war, uh -huh, and go round about the city once, Say strategy. One more time. Say strategy. He said this shall you do for six days. If Joshua did it for two days, it will be disobedience. If he did it for ten days, it will be disobedience. Why God chose six days? Leave it to the wisdom of the spirit. That's why I started by telling you that the foolishness of God is wiser than the wisdom of men. How do you want to take down a city? And then God tells you, I have given you. Do you know Joshua would have said, Amen. Thank you. And he would have said, Guys, put your swords together. After all, you are warriors. They would have been defeated. I have given you. Go around strategy. Every day once. Verse 4. And seven priests. Aha. Uh -huh shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns 
and the seventh day shall ye compass the city seven times and then the strategy for this victory is that the priest shall blow the trumpet it's not about music that it is a strategy in the spirit are we together finish the scripture and the priest shall blow the trumpet and the bible says that if they walk with this jericho will be given so now joshua receives the prophetic word and then he stays with god to receive the strategy i know god called you to be a pastor i am not in doubt he even gave you the name of the ministry but man of god did you stay long enough and do you revisit his presence to receive the strategy for 2023 just because you received the strategy to start ministry does not mean you have received the strategy for now one of the benefits and the blessings of the presence of god is that every time we stay in his presence in prayer in study in worship that activity there is an intercourse in the spirit and among the many things that we receive is the strategy for the next level are we together it's called the hidden wisdom of god so i need to go to the next level god has told me i will take you to the nations how will it happen your assignment is to begin to engage the forces of the spirit the forces of prayer the forces of the word the forces of fasting the forces of consecration the forces of sacrifice and with all these forces what you are doing is you are aligning with the spirit and then in a way that only god can explain the strategy for the next level can i tell you the moment the strategy arrives start rejoicing there is to that level the moment the strategy arrives joshua chapter 6 verse 20 give us verse 20 please i like us to read together are you ready to read verse 20 one to read when the priest blew with the trumpet and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet and they shouted with a great shout the wall fell down hmm. this is how it works in the kingdom hallelujah hallelujah do you understand all that i've said it came to pass that when the people did as god gave as a strategy they shouted when they heard the sound of the trumpet i'm sure imagine that you were inside jericho you will be wondering what are warriors doing with a trumpet what are warriors doing with a shout suddenly you begin to see the fence the fortification of a city sinking because the wisdom of the spirit has been revealed verse 27 that will be our final verse for tonight as we prepare to pray something is about to happen here now verse 27 read it as loud as you can so the lord was with joshua and his fame was noise throughout all the country i thank god his name is joshua I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see jesus lifted up glorify breathe lord breathe lord breathe breathe 
Lord, breathe, breathe upon my heart. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Listen, God is breathing upon your life. Ellie who said in Job 32 and verse 8, there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the Almighty can make ordinary men, men who should not rise, men who have no comeliness, but they have learned that it is prophecy plus strategy that is equal to manifestation, not just the will of God. If God says it, find out how he said it should come to pass. The things that are written of our time, they are for our learning so that we through patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope i'm saying this because we are about to pray for someone here in the course of prayer god is going to give you a strategy a strategy for the next season of your life a strategy for the next dimension of your life listen that men will look at you and all they will see is the glory of God in your life. Manifestations of glory and power. Manifestations of grace by the wisdom of the Spirit. Say, Father, I receive the knowledge of your will. And Father, by the Spirit, reveal to me the strategy that brings your will to pass in my life. Say it again, reveal to me the strategy that brings your will to pass in my life. Listen, listen, we're about to pray. Let me give you one testimony and then we pray. Is God helping someone tonight? You may have heard me share my story many years ago. I was praying because I had seen through scripture, I have seen through my visions that God had a destiny for me to take his grace, his power, his life, the fire of revival across the nations. But from my lowly estate, didn't know anybody, didn't have any ability to rise on my own, nobody knew me. I needed to receive the strategy the prophecy was already there i hope you know if i had stayed there saying god you, you will do it i would have been disappointed like many of you are already disappointed one time i remember i was praying and the lord told me it's time to announce you to the nations but how would that happen and the lord told me then just the infancy of social media and he said take your teachings and put them online for free my angel will send them to the nations and this is a strategy i will use to announce you the foolishness of the wisdom of god right there in that one room i had received the blueprint as simple as that strategy is it is one of the reasons why this man stands before you and everything you have heard god do through this life is not just because we are special as it were is because through childlike faith we did not just receive the will of god but the knowledge of the strategy we are gathered today right now not just because god intended to move over abel kuta but there had to be a strategy how would he do it so the organizers did not just receive the mission the command for seven years God had granted his servant grace. It is the first time we are using it here. As though God knew rain would come. As though God knew that a lot of things would not have been in place if this strategy was not deployed. You will never know the wisdom before God's strategy. The wisdom that comes with God's strategy until you obey it. You will see how cheap victory is in the spirit when the blueprint and the strategy is given to you hallelujah you will go to the ends of the earth he told the disciples apostles but here is how it will start start from jerusalem then judea samaria 
then to the uttermost part and they started from Jerusalem and then persecution spread them to every other area if they had chosen to just get up and start anyhow they would have failed I know God told you to do business but have you stayed to receive how to do it or did you just assume that because God said I must succeed God said I am giving you land in Abelkuta and you went by yourself and chose everything be careful lest you choose a portion that is near Sodom only God can direct men into his will hallelujah when I learned this I never do anything in my life even if I know God has said to do it I will stay until I get the strategy if it means me fasting I will fast if it means me staying down and not making progress I rather be perceived to be experiencing delay than to invent a strategy by myself are we together I remember those days there were many 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 young people with such passion to do ministry and many of them respectfully speaking were just copying anything genuinely called some of those people I can tell you with the kind of grace and zeal they had they should be speaking his purposes to the nations today some of you have seen this you've seen people on campus like that you've seen people across your spiritual journey vibrant people you know the hand of God is upon their lives but they never stayed to get strategy can I tell you it takes more than two hours prayer to get strategy you will stay until he comes you will pray until he comes you will study until he comes sometimes he will give you prophecy in 2019 the strategy will come in 2023 is your assignment to stay you will think as soon as he tells you the strategy comes next day no your waiting is part of the preparation to receive the strategy i'm saying it to somebody here who is saying apostle the call of god is upon my life but i don't know why god will not let me start a church i don't know i know i see myself in dreams healing the sick my brother your vision is correct but you will abort destiny if you don't stay and receive the strategy can i tell you sometimes people will love you too much they will hurry you into seasons without receiving strategy they will do it through compassion come and preach you are an anointed man of God and the Spirit of God says stay I'm anointing you but it's not yet time tonight I came by the Spirit I have about 10 more minutes my assignment tonight is to show you this revelation but also to connect you because the strategy for your victory I came with it too by the Spirit of God I didn't just come to announce to you that weakness has come to an end I didn't just come to announce to you that you are ready for the anointing I didn't just come to announce to you that that sickness will give way I also came with a strategy hallelujah how God will do it tonight he also gave the blueprint by the Spirit of God hmm. I tell you I sense a strong anointing strong anointing in this place we see the rain of your love we see the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear we see the rain of your love we feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear so let it rain let it rain open the floodgates of heaven let it rain 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many years ago, or a few years ago, the Lord spoke to me that He was taking me to another dimension and another level of grace and influence. But He gave me the knowledge of what He was doing, but the strategy had not come. One morning I got up praying as usual, and then the Holy Spirit tells me right now carry a seed and run to Canaan land strategy I would have just done a transfer what is it about going there by yourself that is the wisdom of God but some can say God I'm busy let me just send it's not about donation it's about your ability to connect is someone learning now I remember I got there dropped my seed did what I had to do when I came out to enter the car I was already a man of God and then I got down on my knees and the Lord told me lay your hands on the ground there when I laid my hands there he said from this day you have entered the overflow anointing I'm saying this to you because something is about to rest on your life hallelujah I was in a Reinhardt Bonke crusade just like this thousands of people I wonder why they did not receive because that grace was available for everyone but I needed a strategy and the strategy came as a quickening in my spirit serve don't just stand waiting for prayer that as simple as that that was a strategy that connected me to that ancient grace I sensed a nudging in my spirit to serve and I got up I said I will swallow my pride let me help people and I was willing people on wheelchair to the front as a man of God I was serving and I said Lord the same way I'm serving this grace that is how these miracles will happen in my meetings too because without all contradiction the lesser is blessed of the greater hear me ladies and gentlemen for someone as you are here right now your strategy for receiving the anointing you saw in your dream can be what Elijah told Elisha if you can see me so while others are getting distracted you are there positioned in the spirit Lord I know something will fall I was here in Abelkuta ABM uh, the fourth edition fifth edition but I know what you told me last week and I am ready to receive it for someone the strategy God can give you is to connect with a seed with understanding for someone the strategy God can give you listen can be that after this convention this conference take three days and fast don't go around take three days listen to the messages again that can be your strategy not everybody's strategy your strategy for someone here maybe you are about to step into a dimension of prophetic psalmistry where songs come without writing them they come from heaven but God may give you an assignment and say from now till December your strategy is every night carry your keyboard carry your guitar play it for one hour that's it in that obedience you will write more songs in two months than you have written in ten years many of the songs that you hear that I sing these songs did not come by writing they were products of his presence holy holy blessed is he who comes in the name of our God Hosanna 
blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Man of God, we're about to pray. Maybe this is a prophetic word for you. God told you it's time to move the ministry to the next level. And you check the budget and it's maybe hundreds of millions or billions of naira. Do not guess your strategy. You will lose your integrity. And you will be perceived to look like a fraudster. And the strategy will still not work. He told you he's taking you to the next side. Let him define the strategy. The whole bill can come from one man without you announcing it. The bill can come from 1,000 people moved by the Spirit. Let him be the Lord of your strategy, not just the Lord of your destination. Hallelujah. Now hear me. I have a few minutes, but is it all right if we pray again? The first time you prayed was just for personal edification. This prayer you are going to pray now, you are positioning your spirit like Habakkuk. I will stand upon my watch and set myself upon the tower so that I will see what you will say to me. Because I'm going to call upon the Lord in the next five minutes that as you pray that you will speak. Oh Lord, speak concerning a family. What is the strategy? that will end poverty in that family forever what is the strategy that will take this man of god from abel kuta to the ends of the earth oh speak from the heavens and the earth will hear Oh, speak from your throne, and I'll hear from the earth. Oh, speak from the heavens, and the earth will hear. For my altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you. Go ahead and pray. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you. Oh God, let the fire from your altar touch my body. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. While still praying, let me show you something. Do you know, when God called me to minister his word, I knew that God was going to help me serve the truth of his word to the nations. But how that will happen, I did not know. One day I was praying and then a scripture opened before me. I will reveal my dark sayings upon the harp. That is the reason why you see that when I stand to teach, there's music or there's worship playing softly. It's not just because I'm a musician. It is the strategy connected to the anointing. It's not a ritual. Someone can copy blindly and find out that what is happening in your case is a nuisance and an interruption because it was not a strategy. Hallelujah. You see all kinds of manifestations happen when I speak. With all humility, let me tell you, this one is beyond anointing. I remember a time when I was praying and God said I was going to carry his grace and serve it to many and to nations. How would that happen? The Lord opened my eyes and he told me, he said, son, from this day I give you my presence as a gift. And then my eyes is open and I see this being standing before me. 
and he said he will walk with you I said what is his name and he said he's called the angel of the Lord's presence let the fire from your altar touch my body let the fire from your altar touch my body. I'm not singing I'm invoking something to your spirit Say my Hi. Father, rest upon your people. Rest upon your people, men and women. Rest upon a prayer warrior tonight. Rest upon an apostle in the making, a prophet in the making. Rest upon them like the dew of Hammon. Rest upon your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and receive. Rest upon their lives that they will never be the same. Rest upon their prayer life. Rest upon their word study life. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to lay your hands. I know that it's dark. But lay your hands wherever you are. Lay it on any part of your body you are trusting God for healing. My God, the Spirit of God is moving mightily in this place. I'm seeing impartations happening. Some of you, God brought you here to call you to a deeper fellowship. There is something you need to hear in this season. You are already behind time. Did you hear what the Spirit is saying? You are behind time. You need to stay until fire comes on your destiny. You need to stay until His Word rests upon your destiny. But lay your hands now. I want to pray for you. You are sick in your body. Lay your hands. Healing rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. Not afraid. Not afraid. Healing rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. I'm not afraid. One more time. Healing rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Lay your hands and believe Jesus. Hear me. The theme of this conference is the seven trumpet. And something is going to happen here. Usually I would just speak over you, but you lay your hands. There is no trumpet here, but there is going to be a shout, just one shout. And with that one shout, the healing power of God will come like a tornado. And every age-long infirmity in your body, blood conditions, HIV, organ failures of all kinds and all sorts is about to give way now do you believe that lay your hands you can stand in for your loved ones and for those who might be following by way of the internet here is your chance here in abelkuta believe in jesus for a mighty move in your body Ah, 
At the count of three, ladies and gentlemen, hear me. At the count of three, I just want you to shout the word hallelujah. The word hallelujah is halal Yeshua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At the count of three, you just obey this instruction. You will marvel and wonder at what happens to you. Now, we're not bringing anyone out under the anointing, but please let me plead with you. If anyone is under the anointing close to you, do well to hold them so that we don't have any casualties. You can imagine that this is a stadium, but then you are shouting for your healing. Let's do that very quickly. You believe in Jesus? Father, I decree and declare by the wisdom of the Spirit that as we shout hallelujah, Lord, that you descend with a shout and in the name of Jesus, every mountain of sickness, disease, and infirmity that has played hallelujah once and be two, three, go ahead. He healed in Jesus' name. I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and found that. I have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that hey. there's no one like you yeah yes Babu wani kamaruka Babu wani kamaruka Babu wani kamaruka Ya yes Hear me The Lord wants to transfer graces to men right now Hear me There are some of you the mantle for the next level has been looking for you the mantle for the next level with this current level of empowerment you cannot go far no you will need an empowerment again i want to stretch my hands and by the way those of you at the back do not think just because you are at the back you are alienated from this meeting right where you are I want you to connect by faith believing that the hand of God is reaching you there and touching you there I see you at the back I see those who are in this area everywhere all over the stadium I want you to pray one last prayer father the unction I need to rise to the next dimension in the spirit let it rest upon me now go ahead and pray mantles graces unctions someone pray someone is carrying something go ahead and pray i want to speak over your life by the grace of jesus hallelujah where are those called into the ministry of prophetic intercession there are men and women who God is anointing to stand upon their watch and to see that the purposes of God is birthed in Abel Kuta. 
wherever you are i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus at the count of three may that oil rest on you one two get ready now three take that anointing now take that grace the grace to travail the grace to pray i release it upon you now in the name of jesus christ you will pray down revival across territories you will pray and not faint in the name of jesus christ hallelujah help those under the anointing can i tell you one of the most needed graces in the body of christ right now is the wisdom of god there is a lot of bankruptcy of divine wisdom it is very clear that only very few people are carrying the wisdom of god and when he sends the word to jacob he intends that it be lightened upon israel in the name of jesus to as many who desire a genuine impartation of wisdom like it came upon joshua from moses i stretch my hands right now wisdom beyond your age wisdom beyond your level of exposure wisdom beyond your level of education receive it right now receive it right now number three there is the spirit of revelation you see just because you open your bible does not mean it is opened no there are two things that must happen for a man to access light from scripture the book must be open and the scroll must be unlocked it is your responsibility to open the book but it is the holy spirit who unlocks the seven seals if the scrolls are not unlocked all that you will read is a compendium of controversial statements but in the name of jesus paul said in ephesians chapter 3 and verse 9 that he was given this grace that by this grace all men might see to make all men see there is a grace that makes men see a grace that can make men see it's a grace that opens your eyes that a scripture you have been reading every day when that grace comes upon you your eyes will see what you have never seen father i pray here at abm 2023 i don't know who has prayed and fasted desiring the spirit of revelation but right now carry that grace in jesus name carry that grace in jesus name oh let scripture be open to you carry that grace in jesus name don't be tired we're wrapping up you came to receive number four hallelujah i want to impart upon someone what the bible calls the spirit of faith most people have bold face just for the sake of it but i tell you sincerely there are many people who are not walking by faith they don't know what it means to walk by faith and bet on usual miracles by faith it takes faith to deliver your portion in destiny there is a spirit of faith when the spirit of faith comes upon you you can believe god for anything he can send you to the nations and you will say yes sir do you believe there is such an impartation hmm. through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of god i want to pray for you for a man of god here who has been limited in ministry because of fear for a businessman who cannot scale because you are not able to believe god i pray for you from the depth of my spirit may the spirit of faith rest upon you 
May the spirit of faith rest upon you. By this impartation, you will not beg, you will not borrow. I say it again, you will not beg, you will not borrow. Yet your valley shall be filled with abundance. I impart the spirit of faith upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number five. I want to release a grace upon you that announces you to the nations. Just because you are gifted, just because you have integrity, just because you are sincere, does not mean the nations will look for you. Ladies and gentlemen, believe me, I know what I'm saying with all humility. There is a grace that makes a generation need you. There is a grace that makes a generation desire you. You become Beulah and Hephzibah. Human beings are not stupid. They don't get up and make you a model and a reference for their spiritual growth. No. It will take more than just being a sincere person. You can be a man of God full of any kind of revelation. And yet even your neighborhood will reject you. But there is a grace. It's called a hear ye him anointing. A hear ye him anointing. A grace that grants men visibility. This is not just for ministers of the world. Some of you have products today that you can be called from any part of the world. I know a woman, you've heard me say the story. I think I've marketed this woman so much. Her story impacted upon me. I was preaching somewhere in Lagos and then I got to meet this woman and all that she makes is moi moi. And with that moi moi, she's gotten to the White House. Don't tell me it was moi moi that took her there. The grace for visibility. The grace for visibility will cause you to stand before kings. You will stand before nobles. You will stand before, you will ask yourself, what am I doing here? I stand as a privileged steward of this grace. And I stretch my hands to as many in the name of Jesus. I stand upon this altar and I declare for you and your family and your destiny. May this grace rest upon you now. May this grace rest upon you now. May this grace rest upon you now. That right from Abel Kuta, they will call you from all over the globe. They will place a demand upon the grace of God on your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray two more graces? I want to release this grace that is called favor. The Bible says that we walk as wise, not as unwise. And the way you show wisdom in life and destiny is to redeem the time because the days are evil. And one of the forces that helps men to redeem time is the force of favor. If the favor of God is not upon your life, ladies and gentlemen, I don't care how sincere and how well-meaning you are. You will be stagnated in life, in ministry, and in destiny. The absence of favor is the number one reason that has tilted people to the corridors of compromise. Favor is when God places a grace upon you that causes men to arise and support what you represent. The Bible says Gideon blew the trumpet and 33,000 people responded to that call. It's one thing to know how to blow the trumpet, but it's another thing for people to leave their homes to come to answer the call. Can I tell you, when this grace rests upon you, you will step into prepared blessings. Men will wake up on their own. Believe me, I know what I'm saying. They will make up their mind to sponsor your children till PhD. They will, they will give you houses you did not build. Father, this may not be for everybody, but I don't know who must receive this grace. 
I bow my knees to the God of my covenant and I pray in the name of Jesus the son of the living God let this grace called favor rest on someone let this grace called favor rest on a man of God let this grace called favor rest on a businessman let this grace called favor rest on a student rest on a family rest on a missionary rest on a politician in the name of Jesus by this grace let gates be open on their own let doors be open on their own let opportunities look for you let abundance look for you enjoy by favor the gift of man help us of destiny they arise for your sake in Jesus name we pray final impartation final impartation the Bible says blessed is the man who the Lord causes to approach him there is a grace for encounters this is the last prayer I want to pray for you ladies and gentlemen every great man is made by the encounters that he goes through the God you encounter is the God you reveal to your generation you cannot reveal a theoretical God to your generation when you encounter the healer you will reveal the healer when you encounter the lifter you will reveal the lifter when you encounter a false God you will reveal a God whose status and power you cannot demonstrate I submit to you by the Spirit of God one of the ways that God helped me in life and destiny was to grant me access to encounters I am a product of not just many anointings but many encounters he has opened my eyes to see he has opened my eyes to hear I have seen him I have seen angels I have seen the saints of old I have seen demons I have seen spirits they have strengthened my conviction about the reality of the realm of the spirit I have seen truth from scripture by encounter I want to pray for someone because the God you will have to reveal to this generation cannot be a theoretical God gone are the days where we shout and say God can do this God is this and yet our lives cannot demonstrate it but I know whom I believed and I am persuaded that is the assignment of encounters I pray for you Lord Jesus here on this ground again reveal yourself to someone in this place reveal your glory to someone in this place reveal your power to someone in this place father let the mantles of men like late apostle babalola and the prophets that sojourn this land that is still hanging around in the spirit through encounters where is the next prophet oh god where is the next apostle where is the next pastor may that grace rest upon you now hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us 